Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. Today I will be making all of these little bows. You'll see that Pro Bow the Hand is not just for Christmas bows. As you can see from my hands and from some of my uh, other videos that you've seen, I am an older lady. That's why you see this third finger here, the finger of the hand, and a little alligator clip because my fingers and my hands aren't just as nimble as they used to be. I had a quite an injury with this hand and it is a little stiff. So uh, you'll be seeing how I use this little third finger to help me along. So I hope you'll enjoy that also. Uh, as you can see, I've cut uh, the little ribbons that I'm going to be using to make these little bows here. And um, they're all cut about 12 inches long. And the first one that I'm going to be doing, as you can see, it is uh, done on row A. I'm using the finger uh, placement, the center finger, and also finger one on row A. And this is my little version of the fork. A bow which I know you've all seen all over the internet but I'll make this tiny tiny little bow as you see there so that's the first little bow I'll be making okay so this is what I'm going to be doing with my extra little finger here I'm going to use my at my alligator clip and just put it like that that's just to hold it and uh, like I said my fingers aren't as nimble as they used to be and I need just a little extra help so to make this little bow, you just hold that there, you go, you want to keep this low, okay, you want to go in front of your fingers. You're going to then, and you're going to angle upward, you're going to come back around, you're going to go around the back, okay. Then you're going to pull this around and come downward. I'm going to take my fingers now and hold that in place because I don't want it to slip. This is just so tiny, so I don't want that to slip. Now, keeping that ribbon, the face up, I'm going to slide that underneath. Slide it underneath and I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to come from behind and pull it. And then pull it over. Pull it over the top. Okay, and I'm trying to keep that little ribbon uh, the same uh, face up. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to pull this from my little clip. I'm going to put my finger here. I'm going to come around my finger, go through the loop. And just pull. Pull very tightly. And there it is. That's a perfect perfect pull it very tightly you don't want anything to slip I'm going to do a little adjustment right now because I want my little tails to go down so I'm just going to here force it just a little bit then you pull it down this is the back of the bow this is the front of the bow and now we're just going to slip it up that's the back this is the front and how perfect is that how perfect and easy you can sit here and kind of play with it a little bit get your loops just just perfect you want to kind of puff that one a little bit let's see it's kind of hard in there this little there you go kind of puff it up just a little bit perfection now I'm going to move on to the next little bow okay the next little bow that I'm going to make for you is this little red one here it's just so pretty uh, let's see I've made it on row C and I use the center finger placement and uh, finger one and uh, as you can see there's so many holes and so many spacings you can play with this and and just get whatever size little bow that you want but for now I'm gonna make this one and as you can see I've used my little helper finger I have put it right here just very closely I've cut my little ribbon to about 12 inches um, those of you with smaller little hands and a little bit more nimble, uh, you might not have to use this or you might, could even put it in that place. But anyway, here we go. Okay, I'm going to use my little allig alligator clip, put it down low. I'm going to come up. I'm coming around the front. I'm going upward. I'm going to come around the back, go across. Pull it around, 
Now I'm going to hold this. I'm going to put this under. And you want to keep this, you want to keep the face of the ribbon. You don't want this to twist on you. You want to keep the face of the ribbon up at all times. And then pull it over. Keep it, because this is the front of your little bow here. Now I'm going to come back, get it away from my little helper. Now I'm going to pull this over to the center, start tightening up, put my finger here, come through the loop. And pull. And just kind of make little adjustments as you pull. Pull very tightly. And there you are. Here I'm going to make a little adjustment because I want my tails going down. I'm going to adjust this before I even take it off. So on this one I want my little tails going down. There we are. Slide it off. And there's your perfect perfect little bow. Actually this is smaller than the one that I had on the board so um, on the next one I'll uh, make it a little bigger. So there you are. Perfect, perfect little bow. And you see as I said whenever you pull on it they stay tied. Now let me show you a little trick here because I want my tails to be exactly the same length and especially whenever you're working with something as small as this that's kind of hard. So I'm going to pull my little tails back. Well, first I'm going to kind of measure because I want my, my little tails to come out past my loop. Um, so there's kind of like a little measure. And so I'm going to, and that's where my finger is, and pull my tails together. It's kind of hard when you're working with something just this tiny. And I'm going to cut both. And there we are. That's more like a little tuxedo bow. I didn't pull them too far down. And there you are. Kind of hard to show you something so little. How perfect. How cute is that? Okay, the next little bow that I'm going to make is... Um, this little pink one here. This is a little Christmas ribbon. Uh, it was just so pretty. I just had to had to use it um, And it's wired so in this one I wanted to sh uh, show you the difference between this is not wired This is this is extraordinarily easy because because it's wired You can just make the little ribbon be in any position that you want so you'll see just how easy this is So here we go on this one, you'll see that I'm on row C, and I'm using finger um, one right and finger one left. This has given me a little bit more space. That's probably about an inch, inch and a half. Um, at the end, whenever I give the instructions, uh, the little bow recipes, I'll, t I'll tell you that information. I'll make sure that I have that written at the end so that you'll know. So here we go. Here's my little helper finger. And also, I'm shooting from a different angle. I think you, you might be able to see a little bit better how I'm doing this. So there's my little helper finger. Okay, this is going across the front of the fingers. You're going to pull it around the back. Come in front of your little helper finger there. Okay. Now I hold this here. You see, I'm always keeping the face. This is the face of my ribbon. I want to keep it up. Don't want this twisted. Okay, now this is going to go underneath. See? Underneath. And then pull it over the top. Always keeping that face ribbon up. Now I'm going to come back and take away from my little helper. I'm going to pull this together. Finding the center of my tiny little bow. There it is. I'm going to put my finger here and then come around. Go through. Go through that little loop that I've made. And catch that. And pull. As I'm pulling, I'm making sure that to adjust, make sure I'm right in the center. And I'll pull it very tightly. And there we go. 
Again, here I'm going to make a little adjustment. I'm going to turn this this way because I want my little tails facing forward. That's why I just so love wired ribbon. You can make it do anything you want it to do. My husband is standing behind me and he just told me, he says, do you realize that you talk much lower when you're making small things? I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyway, anyway there it is. And turn it over. And there it is absolute perfection. You can puff these up just a little bit. Isn't that perfect and absolutely easy? Okay, here again, I'm going to lay my tails together because I want them to be the same length. Okay, I think on this one, I'm going to make a V-cut so here I've pulled them together because I want my tails to be the same length. I'm going to fold my ribbon in half. Kind of hard to work. You have to be careful using something this little. And just clip that off. And there we go. Let's see, where's the face? Here we go. No, there it is. It's on this side. And there we are. Perfect little tails, perfect little cut tails, perfect little bow. So, so easy. There we are. Pro Bow the Hand makes this so easy. Even with someone with me who's had, I had quite a, quite a hand injury. Been in therapy for almost a year to get the use of my hand back. But this will show you just how easy it is. Thanks, and I'm going to move on. I'm going to show you this one. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to make one more. Uh, actually, they're all really the same, but I want to just show you how I, uh, I cut the ends. Um, so here we go. Here's my little helper. Go around the front of the fingers. Come around the back. Make sure you go around your little helper finger. Go around the, uh, the front. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold this here because I don't want this to slip. I'm going to make sure I keep the face, the top of my ribbon, up. I'm going to slip this under here. And then, see, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to come over the front. Now I'm going to get my little helper ribbon there. I'm going to pull this to the center, just adjusting. Put my finger here, come over, go through that loop, catch it and pull. This time I'm going to pull straight out because I want this to be, I want my little tails to just be straight out. I don't want them to come out and that'll, see how it makes a difference? If you want them to come down, you start pulling, you kind of start pulling them down. But on this one, I want my little tails to be straight out. Okay, and I want the face of my little ribbon up. Wonderful wired ribbon. I can just flip that over. Wired ribbon is so wonderful. So I'm just going to make that little adjustment here. I'm going to flip it over because I want the face, that's the front of my little bow, and I want my little tails up. So I make that little adjustment there. Pull it tightly, pick it up, and perfect. Okay, now. I make a, I want my little tails to be just a little bit longer than my bow, so there. Now I'm going to pull them both to the back. Pull them tightly. Because I want my little tails to be perfect. Now I'm going to cut both. I'm going to cut them on a little angle. And there you are. How perfect, how easy. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to puff this up just a little bit, kind of hard with it being so, so tiny. Puff this up just a little bit. I love making these little things. How perfect and how cute, how easy. And there you are. 
Let's see, let me show it on the white. You can see it better. There you are. Perfect little bow. Y'all enjoy. Okay, the next little bow that I want to make for you is this is a beautiful little sheer ribbon and it just has a little filament. It's not he heavily wired. It's just a little filament in it, but it just makes a beautiful little bow for all your little project needs. So um, here now I'm using uh, the six inch fingers. This is the new Pro Bow. This will be on the market uh, by the end of May. Um, it has the lines in it so that your eyes don't get lost in all those little lines. It keeps, you, it keeps your eyes visually on the row that you're using and it has the numbers uh, already printed on it like one, two, three right, one, two, three left and so on. And then there's rows A, B, C, D and E and uh, you will get four not only the uh, smaller little fingers, but you will get four of the six inch fingers that will come with it. If you have the older uh, Probo small hand, you'll be able to order these on the website to use with your, uh, with your hand. But these now come with it. Um, so here we go. I have placed this at, uh, on row B, fingers two, right and left, and that's going to give the size of this little bow. So here we go. I'm going to start with my little helper because like I said with my hands I just need a little extra help. I've got a very stiff left hand there. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come around. Make sure I go in front of my little helper there. I'm going to come down. Underneath. Catch it. You see how easy that is? How nice it is to be able to use two hands. And then come up over the top. Take it from your little holder, your little helper there. And now I'm just going to work and start pulling. I'm going to work to the center. Uh, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but this is, this is about 14 inches of ribbon. Put my finger, go around, go through the loop, catch it here, and pull. And I'm just going to be adjusting as I go because I want to make sure my knot is right in the center and I believe it is so I'm going to give a good little pull right there. I'm going to be adjusting. I'm going to pull my little tails downward. I want my little tails to be down. This is the back of the bow. This is the front. Let's slip it off and see what we have. And there we go. Perfect little bow. Let's fluff her up a little bit. Perfect little bow every time so easy to make make just a couple of little adjustments like i said there's a little filament in this ribbon so it's just going to hold the position uh, just perfect for your little projects isn't that wonderful perfect okay now to cut the tail i want to make sure that my tails are even i'm going to pinch off the back pull my ribbon out i want the v on this so i'm going to put them I bend this in half and then you cut at the fold. You cut at the fold outward to the end and that's going to give you that perfect little V. And there you are. Perfect. So unbelievably easy. Let's see, I want that to go back a little bit. Make a little adjustment. You play with them. I tend to play too much. I just go on and on. I never seem to. So my husband tells me you just never stop. But anywhere, anyway, there is your absolutely perfect little bow. And there's just nothing that could be easier. Please enjoy.